guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixel League server. Today, I think we're finally going to tear down the changing room and the crappy little sauna that I built the other day and swap the, well, probably remove the changing rooms entirely and build a nicer sauna downstairs. So I'm going to do all of the tearing out off camera. Uh, I just want you to know that's what we're doing today, so if you hate building episodes, <laughs> why do you hate building episodes? Come back. Come back. We may also do some more leveling. Uh, we got to get Gyarados a lot higher. And of course, we also have to start working on um, our Umbreon. But I haven't played since since last episode, so he still doesn't have his happiness up. Pretty close. So I will keep him out. Uh, and maybe, maybe we will turn him into an Umbreon at the end of the episode if his happiness levels up. So if you want to see that, stick around. We'll stick around anyway. I know you don't all like building episodes, but I like you. Please stay. <laughs> Whatever, it's cool. Uh, just come back next episode and we'll do something Pokemon related. But for those of you who like building, sauna is happening today. Any moment now, MC Gamer should be coming through that portal with my XP shares. He's only had them for like four weeks or something. <laughs> finally, I think we're finally going to be able to get them back. Finally. There he is. What a guy. I had a portal, but he didn't come through the portal. MC. Hi. I can have my XP shares back now, please. That is not an XP share. That is not an XP share. <laughs> that is an XP share, yes. 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 I have missed my babies. I've missed them. I've missed them. Thank you. Yay! Yay! I know that was not very exciting, but I am excited to get them back at the same to all the same, and now we can put them on all of our guys. I don't know who to put them on, um, but we will we will put them on anyway. I'm gonna continue taking out the uh, doobly doos. The dress, the changing room is no more. I have removed it. I fixed the ceiling. I took the windows out completely. Uh, I think I want to close up this door, and I kind of am undecided about whether or not I want the interior of the room to be all wood. I kind of feel like it should be, and it will make it smaller. It'll make it a smaller interior, but I think it'll be worth it in the in the long run. I think. It's still going to be big enough. If I bring in walls all the way around, I think it'll still be big enough. So let me do that off camera. I don't know about the ceiling. We'll keep that as it is, I think, for now. Uh, let me fill it in, though. There we go. So far, interior has been resized. I actually like this size a little bit better, even. It's a little cozier. And I redid the front of the room, so it's like it was on the other one. I'll put a door up. I don't have enough inventory space right now to worry about doors, but uh, we'll have a door here and I added the sign, adult supervision required. I'll take the sign down over there and let's get started. The first thing I want to do is make a workbench actually, because we've got a bunch of random blocks. Oh, I've got two workbenches on my, on me already. So I guess we don't need to make a workbench. I am a professional. Let's stick it right here for now. Uh, we've got so I want to make some some more cauldrons. Uh, I think four cauldrons in the middle will kind of emulate. Let's see what is how, what is the shape of this room? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's an even room. So we might have to go six cauldrons or nine cauldrons or something like that. I want the center of the room to basically have the cauldrons around it. And this is going to emulate the the water that, or the, the hot stones that you pour the water on uh, to, to create the steam, basically. I do not have anything like dirt with which to fill this hole. In. Probably not a big deal. Oh, and I don't have any space in my inventory either. Whatever, we'll use this. Three should be enough. Exactly enough. If I play my cards right... Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Let's put... Do we want to put six of these down? Is that too many? How many cauldrons? 
How many cauldrons must one man make before you have enough for sauna? <laughs> okay, then this row. Ooh, you kind of sink into that one. Weird. That was weird. Okay, and then this row is where your feet would be. So this is where the first row is going to be. And a lot of saunas kind of have multi tier layering, and they kind of have like. The seats are kind of see-through, so I think we might do that, except for I want it to be one further out. I want it to be two layers, so let's see. And I'm using dark wood because it stands out a little bit better. Can we do it like this? Right? I think that'll look good. If I do a whole row like that, you could sit theoretically on that row, and then what about the second row? Do we want to use full blocks? Do we want to use stairs? Do we want to use more slabs? See, I feel like if I do slabs again... Let's try slabs. Can I... I mean, this is going to require so many trapdoors if I do it this way. But I think this is probably going to look the best. Like that, and then like that. Yeah, I think that is the winner. So what I'm going to do, basically, just to give you guys an idea, is this all the way around with trapdoors like this all the way around and I'll figure out something for the for the corners there might just be solid blocks or something like that right does that look more like a sauna and then what I might do even is put glowstone because we need illumination in here and I think glowstone like a just a, basically a solid row of glowstone back there on the ground yeah I think that's what we're gonna do Yep, okay, so I'm going to do that off camera, and I will, I'm going to, uh, I'll probably finish at least the, the seating and the lighting off camera, and I'll bring you guys right back. It's starting to look a bit more like a sauna, I think, a little bit more. It's unfortunate we've got these gaps here, and there's not really, like, the only way you can fix it is to do, to take this one out, and then you have the gap on that side, so... Does that look better to have, maybe it looks better to have the gap on the side, because when you first walk in you don't see it as obvious, right? It looks a little, it blends a little bit better. Okay, so we'll switch these two. Uh, I think I want to put a bit more lighting because once you put the, I like the lighting underneath, I think that looks good. But once you put the, the slabs over top of it, it really cuts the light, the, the light, the half slabs really kind of eat up the light. So I think some canned lights, maybe some actually, Actually, I think it'll be okay. I think that I think there's a layer above us, so we might be able to put like a recessed light, like right here. Yeah, I think. Actually, I think that's perfect. I think we can go up two. Let's pillar up with this. Let's get this guy. I'm gonna have to get some glass. Um, I guess we're gonna have to pillar up here. All right, like this. I don't. I think this is just an empty room right here. Perfect! Okay, perfect. So what I want to do is I want to put the the glowstone here. And then I want to put a block of oops, a block of glass of in in front of that so that it's a little bit recessed. Now I know someone, one of you, is going to say, why don't you put some stained glass in front of it and it'll look really good. And I agree, it would look really good. But we are playing uh, on the Pixelmon snapshot, or not the snapshot, we are playing on a... A modded Minecraft that is running Minecraft 164. See in the upper right corner or upper left corner it says 164, which means that we don't have the stained clay or the stained glass uh, update. So we have to use regular glass, unfortunately. But I think it'll still look pretty good. Yeah. All right. So let me let me put a couple of those in. Lights are in, and I feel like this is going to add a little bit of extra depth and detail to it. Saunas look like they're usually really enclosed and tight. Like I should almost even lower the ceiling one, but I don't. I don't really want to lower the ceiling one more. Uh, so we're gonna add this kind of crown molding, and I think that's gonna help. It gives a little bit more depth, makes it look a little nicer, and it makes it feel a little bit closer, like it tends to look in the video or in the pictures that I'm looking at of various saunas. There's that. Now, a lot of them also have, like, 
uh, armrests and stuff separating the seats. I don't know if I really want to do that. Yeah, there's not really a way to pull that off, I think, in a way that I like in this. So we're going to stick that off. Uh, I'm going to fill these with water, I think, for right now and see how that looks. Put water in, not really feeling this. I'm not even sure I'm feeling the cauldrons. I feel like even though you normally wouldn't see like exposed flame, I kind of like what I had in the other one where there was fire here and then I had like a slabs over it so you couldn't get to it but you could still sort of see it. Um, I think that feels like it makes a little bit more sense. So despite the fact that I just wasted a lot of iron and spent a lot of time doing all of that. Oh, can I? Okay. I was going to say, can I not pick those up? That would suck. Let's... I'm going to open this up with my super efficient shovel and I'm going to... I think I'm going to put fire down here. Uh, and I might put, yeah, let's put wood in the corners of this as well. Now, like I've said before, in a normal Minecraft world, you wouldn't be able to do this because the fire would catch the wood on fire. But, uh, we don't have fire spread on on the server, so this should be fine. Should not have any problem here. Um, let me get out. Do we want... I think we can just set the... I don't think... I mean, I don't think it's going to go out because we don't have... I think this... I, originally I had netherrack down, but I don't think you even need that. Something like that. And then do we want to put iron bars above that maybe? Oh, I got a door, by the way. What would work best? What would work best above that? It's a shame that we don't have the, uh, the iron trap doors because I think that would look good. And I can't use regular trap doors because I... I could do it on the edges, but I couldn't do it in the middle. Would that look good? Yeah, the iron trapdoors I think would look the best. Let's just do regular trapdoors and see how that looks. We'll have to come up with something else for the middle. We could just leave the middle open. We could put a slab over the middle. Hmm. What do you guys think about the middle? We could put an iron bar. An iron bar would be like a a cross shape. Let's see how that looks. I also got some item frames because I want to put buckets in the with uh, item frames, and I think that'll kind of help look like uh, what you're supposed to like the water that you're supposed to throw in the fire. Does that make sense? I hope this is making sense. Okay, so let's see. Can we do this? Yeah. How does that look? I think that looks okay. I think that looks better than the cauldrons. I think that the iron plates would make more sense because you couldn't open them, but I think that works. You're not going to fall in there, right? Yeah. I mean, you're safe. You're safe enough. Okay. Then I also got some chests. In case you brought some stuff in here with you, you could put it in these chests. So we'll put a chest there and a chest there. Then I want to put... Can I put... Oh, I turned all of my... I don't have any slabs left. Do I want to put an item frame? You know what? Let's try... More trapdoors. This is the day of the trapdoors. Can I put a trapdoor on top of this chest? I can, but you won't be able to put anything on top of it. Hmm. So I want to put a shelf, and then I want to put snow slabs on top of it to look like towels. It's not going to work, though. And I can't... Can I put... A, oh, I can put a chest there, can't I? Wait, 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 wait. I could do that. Okay, we're going to do that then. Or do you think we should put the... I think that'll oh you know what we'll do we'll put we'll put two chests on top of each other or maybe even three like that and then can i put snow oh i probably can't put snow on top of this because of this trap door dang it let's see hold on do it like this can i even put snow on a i can't okay um whoa too efficient shovel too much game shovel okay game too strong um, let's make a slab, like so. Maybe even should have been stairs. Something like that, with snow on top of that. And then we can kind of... No? No? Why? Why you no know snow? Because it's not a full block? Is that what it is? Does it have to be a full block? Or is it too hot in here for it to, it like, melts immediately because of the glowstone, maybe? No, 
there we go. Does that look dumb? Does that look okay? I'm gonna go with that for right now. And you guys can tell me if you hate it later. You can always change these things. Uh, we'll have to take this one out. That's the that's the one problem is that we have to take the side out. But when you put the snow in and you stack it high enough, yeah, it, it basically blocks that anyway. I think that looks okay. Can we just have like random? No, we can't because these are all slabs. Dang it! Okay, whatever. Now let's put the half are the item frames up with our buckets. Let's get our buckets ready. So let's see. Let's put a bucket. We need these torches in here? No, we don't need those torches in here. Let's put that there and that there. Bucket. Bucket. Now, do we also want to have some sort of... Oh, you know what we could do? Because usually you have a bucket and then you have like a spoon that you put the... You use to pour the stuff in. What if... I've got an idea. What if we use a spoon? Eh? Spoon. Yeah? What do you think? That looks like those little ladles kind of close enough, right? I mean, it looks also like a bucket and a shovel, but whatever. Holy cow! That scared the crap out of me. I'm the only one on right now, so I was like, what the frick was that? It's it's Jay. Hi, Jay. Go away, Jay. I guess he wants to get in the sauna. That's so funny. Bye. Stay out. Okay, so, what do you guys think? Does that look okay? Does that look better? Any suggestions as to ways to improve this? I feel like we could do some decorative stuff. Like, we could... Oh, wait, I don't even need to do that. I think I've got them on me. Yes, I do. Like, this doesn't do anything other than just look cool. We could just do that in the corners. Just for a little depth. I kind of like that. Oh, we need more chests on that side. I don't think we... We have one chest on us, so we need to make one more chest. We will do that out of regular old boring wood. Boop, boop. And... Boop. Boop. Yeah, I think that works. I do think that this looks more like a sauna than the previous room. And it's a much bigger sauna, so it makes more sense that you would see this at a resort. The other one felt more like a, a much private, more private sauna. So, there we go! We've got a sauna! I hope you like it. Uh, let me know, like I said, if you don't. And if you have ideas for improving it, let me know as well. Um, it's not- it's a- it's a- it's a multi-gendered sauna. Like, you have to wear clothes in here, so... Uh, some- some resorts have, like, male and female, but we don't discriminate. We let both people in. We've got our sign here. Let's take this out. And I think... I think that's it. Should we have another sign, like, directly above it? We don't have a sign on us, so we're not gonna do that for now took out the buckets of water. We could put these in here somewhere. Not really any space left. Should we do that? What do you think? We could do that. Let's see. Let's grab... Oh, I've got one bucket of water on me. So we've got the buckets of water in... The... We could also put them in the ground. No, let's leave them standing. I feel like cauldrons should belong in, like, the corners, but we've got the chests in the corners, and the chests really work well there. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. It adds a little bit of depth. It kind of blocks this, but you can still access it. You're not mostly in here for that. Looks good. That looks good. Let's take a picture inside of it. And let's get the bucket out of my hand. Do I have a slot that is empty? There we go. And come on, come on, empty slot. No, that's a torch. Do I not? I know I have. There we go. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay, we're not going to end the episode yet because we do want to level up our Eevee at the very, very end. Our new uh, Yapidus, Yapidus, Yapidus. Yeah. So we're going to do that. But this is the sauna. It looks great. That'll be my thumbnail. Fantastic. And I'll be right back. Our little Eevee is at 255 happiness we are going to level uh i think you guys said that i should ev train this umbreon in hp and special defense but i don't want to do it and screw it up so confirm with me in the comments below that that is what i should train him in 
and I will do that next episode, but we're going to, since I don't want to screw up his EVs, I don't think giving him a rare candy will screw that up. Now, it's probably really dumb to give him a rare candy. This is probably like a waste of a rare candy, like on such a low level, but whatever. I don't really care. We've got the money to spare. Uh, we need an apple. Got plenty of apples, and we need sugar. A little bit of sugar, 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 baby. Yeah, cool. So, golden apple. Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. And sugar and glow. Uh oh, is it getting day? No, it's day. It's still night, right? It's so to make a number on it's level 20, 255 or 255 happiness leveled up at night, correct? That is what I believe is the case. So I think giving you this rare candy at night should turn you into an Umbreon. Grown to level 16, and yes, I am the champion, my friends. And I'll keep on leveling till the end of... I don't know, pick some on. I am about to hit level 100. You guys keep asking me... Or level 100. I'm about to hit episode 100, and you guys keep asking me what I'm going to do for level, for episode 100, I don't have any plans, so if you have a suggestion for what I should do for level, for episode, I keep saying level, episode 100, let me know, because I don't have any special plans or any ideas, I don't expect to do anything cool for this, and, but there we go, we've got ourselves a new Umbreon, named Yapit, Yapitus, Yapitus, awesome, and we are going to EV train you next episode, or some episode soon, we will EV train you for into epic awesomeness and you'll be my new little tank and you'll be much better than the other Umbreon that I have. Sorry, other Umbreon that I have. Yay! And we will also work on leveling Gyarados because I want to use that Gyarados that Beef gave us to crush Beef at his own gym someday. Even if we don't win, as long as Gyarados takes out like someone amazing, that would be amazing. Ooh, Gyarados is a water type, right? Is that water strong against grass? Because if Gyarados takes out Torterra, interesting. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!